And joining me on, from, on Skype from London to discuss this issue is a lawyer, Santoma Joel. Uh, and now, um, Joel, when you look at this issue, uh, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said, look, he's not going to support uh, you know, a delay of Brexit. Um, the interim leader of the uh, Scotland Conservatives, Carlo, also said, look, they won't support a Brexit delay. So what is the, what, what is the implication of leaving without a deal? Well, thank you for having me. Um, the, the, the country knows that there's a huge, huge consequence or consequences if um, the country were to leave the European Union without a deal. And one of those consequences is the, is the fact that um, there will be a 30 billion pounds heat to the economy on a yearly basis um, around the trade arrangements which um, they were unable to put forward or put together if they were to leave um, without a deal. Remember, many prime ministers and heads of state have come in the past to say, I will never do a thing like this, I will never resign, I will never do this, just like the prime minister has said, that he would rather die in a ditch than to extend or ask for an extension. But there's an act that forbids him to leave without a deal. And the bank act actually um, requires him to make requests for an extension if he was unable to get a new deal by the 19th of October. Okay, when you look at the political climate in Britain at the moment, um, do you think that with all of the you know, uh, political conversations going on that Britain is prepared for the challenges ahead, especially for small businesses? Well, they, 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 they've come to say that they've made contingency uh, plans for um, if the United Kingdom should leave without a deal. But again, they've told us different things before in the past. And all these things um, came to, we came to realize that all that we're saying were just nothing but lies. So what we're looking at now is that we, we some of us don't um, foresee a circumstance or a situation whereby the, the United Kingdom would leave or exit the European Union without a deal. So the coming week, maybe in the next four weeks, would be very interesting um, for the nation. But we don't foresee leaving the European Union without a deal because there's a law forbidding that at the moment. But the, the, la the last deal on the table is the one negotiated by Theresa May. Um, would that be a good deal for Britain at the moment? Well, um, if it were to be a good deal, um, Theresa May wouldn't have left. But the problem is, the, the current Prime Minister is saying that the backstop, which was included in that deal, has to go. The Irish Prime Minister had said that there wouldn't be any deal without um, the backstop, which is a temporary arrangement um, for there not to be a border between the island, between Ireland and the, the United Kingdom. So, if he's saying that the backstop has to go and the European Union is not able to budge a uh, position on that, we don't see any other new deal coming on. What we have now is yes, the Theresa May, but that deal wasn't did, did not scale through the Parliament, and so either there will be an extension for them to renegotiate. Um, a new deal, or the United Kingdom is not that well. I don't see them living without a deal. It's either a three months extension of the of, of the of Brexit, or living without a deal. What do you foresee happening? Well, I foresee there's going to be an extension because if they do leave without it, if the Prime Minister, which was the reason, the sole purpose why he prorogated the Parliament, which the court had said it was unlawful. So if um, there is no new deal. The only alternative would be a three month extension. And that is the position I foresee going to play out in the coming weeks. Well, the Prime Minister said, look, he doesn't want a, a delay. He's not going to go for a delay and he's not going to resign. I mean, that almost seems like a deadlock. But it's not entirely up to him. This is a parliamentary system of government, so he's just the Prime Minister. Whatever that is going to happen with regards to the legal status of the United Kingdom, should they want to exit the European Union, lies within the Parliament, not within the Prime Minister. Unless he wants to act unlawful, you know, we, we don't foresee he's going to do that, but either he goes for extension or we find ourselves in the court again. So um, there is another option. Is other people are saying, look, um, the EU, the, the uh, Britain should take a deal where it can pull out of Brexit but stay in the in the EU single market. Would that also would that be a, a good deal to take? 
some people have, have actually offered that circumstance, you know, to have a Norwegian style of um, membership and the Switzerland style of membership. Some people within the conservative government are so bent on leaving, exiting the EU without being within the single market. And that is not an option on the table at the moment because they have deliberated on that Norwegian style of uh, membership. And so many of them say they don't want that. So either they have a new deal or there will be a, an extension for um, the um, European Union and the United Kingdom to discuss more on what the divorce arrangement would be if they were to be divorced from the European Union. Uh, many thanks to you, Santoma Joel, for joining us on this award, award now on this hour.